Hello friends, this video on friction part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, till now we spoke mostly about friction exerted by solids on solid objects. So friction associated with solids. But fluids also exert friction. So what are fluids? Fluids are those uh, anything that is capable of flowing, anything that can flow is a fluid. So what are the fluids that we know? So when we, we say fluid, we talk about liquids which can flow like water, milk, oil or we talk about gases like air because that can also flow. So liquids and gases are collectively termed as fluids. Now the way uh, friction can operate between a pair of solids in a similar way they can operate between a pair of fluids or between a solid and a fluid. So force of friction exerted by fluids on objects moving through them is called fluid friction. Now many a times you will see that objects move through fluids. The best example would be the airplane. So aeroplane is flying through the sky and what is sky made up of? It is made up of air. So aeroplane is actually moving through air. So aeroplane is a solid and it is moving through a fluid that is air. Similarly bird is flying in the sky. So it is also moving through fluid. The ship moving, ship or a boat moving through water. So water is again a fluid and the ship or uh, boat is and a solid which is moving through a fluid. So whenever an object is moving through a fluid, that fluid offers some resistance to its motion and anything that opposes motion is friction. So that friction which is known as fluid friction. This fluid friction is also known as drag. This is just another term for fluid friction. So let us see what are the factors that affect fluid friction. So it is affected by the relative velocity between the object and the fluid like uh, with what speed the object is moving through the fluid if the object is moving very fast or the object is moving very slow. So depending upon the speed of the object the fr friction offered by the fluid will also change nature of the fluid. Now when I say nature of the fluid the nature could be what type of fluid is involved for example if it is a fluid like air if it is a fluid like water or if it is a fluid like honey. For example, if you compare water and honey. So what do you think? A boat will move easily through water or it will move easily through honey. Of course through water. That's because water is less viscous. So viscosity plays an important role. So it depends upon the resistance which is provided by that particular fluid. So viscosity of the fluid density of the fluid all these determine how much friction will be offered by that particular fluid and that is why the fluid friction varies for different fluids. So it is easier to move an object through air than water that is because of the lesser density and viscosity of air when compared to water. Shape of the object and that is where streamlining comes into picture like if you see there are certain organisms which exist naturally we, we did not create them and they are able to travel very comfortably through fluid one such example is a bird so look at the shape of a bird and try to compare it with the shape of an aeroplane so they have little similarities right so the aeroplane has been con uh, constructed considering the shape of the bird because the bird is able to fly comfortably through the fluid that is air so that means that particular shape of the bird is able to provide least, I mean it, it is able to experience least fluid friction. So that is why the aeroplane was also considered in a similar way and this process of designing an object in such a way so that it experiences least friction is known as streamlining. So the shape as well as size of the object, the entire cross sectional area of the object also uh, impacts or also determines how much fluid friction will be experienced by that object. So with this regards we will now talk about streamlining. It is nothing but design of an object such that it experiences lesser fluid friction. So how do we make this design? How do we know that which design will suit the best in order to experience the minimum fluid friction so that they are able to fly 
uh, in an easier way without applying much force. Now, the objects which are moving through, through fluids, since they will experience fluid friction, so they need to overcome that fluid friction. So in order to overcome the fluid friction, they will have to spend a lot of energy. So that means a lot of energy will get lost just to overcome fluid friction. So in order to minimize that, the sh their shapes are designed in such a way that they experience lesser fluid friction. Now, how do we arrive at their shape? Now, one of the nature's creation is bird. Now, birds fly in the sky. So we assume that the shape of the bird is suitable enough to experience lesser fluid friction because they can fly with ease. So in a similar way, the aeroplanes were constructed with a similar shape. So if you see, the birds have two wings. So aeroplanes also have two wings. And when they fly or when they try to increase their um, like height, so they make adjustments with their wings and the same thing happens in case of aeroplane as well. So birds is nature's creation and then aeroplane was created by us considering the shape of the bird. So that means these, this better shape and size, they help them to reduce friction. So not only aeroplanes, but if you look at other vehicles also like the cars or the ship, boat. So all of them are shaped in such a way so that they are able to minimize the fluid friction so that the energy loss can be minimized. So this process of designing is known as streamlining. So I think with this, we have been able to understand the concept of friction, the basic concept, what is friction, why it happens, uh, what are the factors on which the value of friction depends, what are the different types of friction. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.